So welcome to the, uh, it came from the cubicle, unboxing of the One Ring. My copy has just arrived. I'm very, very excited. I've been reading the PDF um, and enjoying it very much. And now we've got the, uh, I've got the hard copy here to explore. So it's in a hard, very hard, um, flip case with everything you're going to need inside there to run the game. Um, one of the first things I notice when you open it up is just how neat everything fits inside there. So there's a little plastic tray here. This plastic tray has all of the dice we're going to need to run the game. And it's a specialised D6 and D12 system. I'll talk more about the, uh, the mechanics soon, but you know some of them have got little, little glyphs on them. Um, I'll open up the D12 and then we might just be able to see there, we've got uh, a little glyph on the D12. Um, the 11 and 12 are used to um, go for successes or failures. You've got the IS Sauron and the glyph of Gandalf on there. <coughs> and then we've got the uh, the game itself. Now we've got two books, Let's slide those out a moment, and two maps. So we'll start with the uh, adventurous book. The adventurous book, beautiful, beautiful cover art. And if we flip into it, we go straight up from there to the doors of Lonely Mountain. Um, the box set and the setting is set sort of after the Hobbit, before the Lord of the Rings, so pretty much uncharted territory. If you're not in Bilbo or Frodo's shoes, if you're going off investigating Hobbit, beautiful, beautiful artwork throughout in terms of the, the game. <coughs> Everything that the player is going to need is inside this book. Um, it's got a very simple mechanic system, so if you've got people who may be, you know, big Lord of the Rings fans who haven't role played before, or you've been looking for that D20, I'm sorry, that, that, that red box D&D &D experience, I think a few people have tried to do this in recent years, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this unboxing is I think it's really a beautifully put together um, game, and you have that wonderful feeling and excitement when you open it. So here's my um, my adventures book, and then we've got the, the Law Matters book for the... Uh, the Games Master Book for want of a better structure. Uh, the Games Master Book talks about the, uh, the set or the regions that the game is set in. Again, it wants to try to do a reasonable geography. There's going to be a second and third setting for um, or a third box set, um, I believe, for um, for one ring as well, to explore more of Middle Earth. But plenty in here in terms of the layout, structure, again, beautiful art throughout. And out for some of the games, and up oh, pop up down index, the way to index doesn't hold that game. We've also got two maps, so you've got two maps you've got. You've got the uh, adventurer's map to start with. Right, let's open this up, again beautifully done. Looking, uh, relation to the size of the, uh, the book that I've done. Folded it, you can see um, a beautiful, beautiful world on that of, of Middle Earth. Even down, and across, maybe here to the Lily Mountain. So I think the idea being that this can be on the table, and the players have always got a map, and they can think, gosh, I'm right in the middle of Middle Earth. And there is the map for the Law Master or Games Master as well. So again, back in the um, Adventures book, so the Law Master's book, it breaks down uh, different sections and talks about the adventures you can run there or the threats and problems and is well supported as you go through the book. So you should be able to pick up this map and understand where your um, adventures are and what's going on. Um, but beautiful, beautiful um, artwork and really high quality um, throughout. Excellent. Now the top eight to actually play it.